my goals for 2021 are a lot different than they were for 2020, not gonna lie. It was a mess. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel if you're old, and welcome if you're new. This is a video I do at the start of every single year. Um, last year it was called 2020 Vision. 2021 Vision just doesn't really have that same sort of ring to it, but we're gonna find some title. Um, but basically what I do is have a quick look back over the previous year and then talk about my goals and aspirations for the next year. Um, and when I say next year, I mean like until December of next year. It's almost like Spotify wrapped. Um, no. Okay. 2020 has obviously been a really weird year. And I know that as we go into 2021, it's not just suddenly all going to be okay. No, that's not how time works. Time is, doesn't just like reset at the 1st of January. Of course it doesn't. And so my goals for 2021 are a lot different than they were for 2020, not gonna lie. Um, but some of them are obviously gonna be the same, some of them are gonna be updated, more advanced, etc. Um if you haven't watched me reacting to last year's video, go do that because it was a mess. Like the train wreck that was that video and how it turned out to be. I it's unbelievable how that physically happened. But um, yeah, as you can see, I am nice and cosy in my massive, like when I say massive, I mean it's literally like a blanket, except you can wear it. I have my coffee, um, it's a mocha today, we love that. Um, but yeah, I'm nice and cosy. So let's get into a rewind of 2020. Hmm. I had hoped to do AS's and do well in my AS's, it didn't happen. I got grades based on how the teachers thought I was going to do, and grades based on how I did at GCSE, and you know what, I got my four A's and I'm happy with that, um, so was life, um, that happened, and I got my four A's, happy, done, next, um, I got to go to Germany, now that was one of the things that I was so, like, passionate about doing. And I can't believe it actually happened. Like, I'm still shook that that actually happened. Mind blowing. There was like a couple of weeks where it was physically possible and I took it and did it. And when I say I did it, I mean, I went to Germany for two weeks and my German friend came back here with me for a week and we managed it. Like we managed to make it work. Um, yeah, I was so sad in doing that. My flight got canceled on the way there. Um, but we thought that they'd cancelled both flights. They hadn't, but we thought they'd cancelled both. So then I got like, I was like, oh no, I'm not going to Germany anymore. And yeah, that was awful. But, but luckily, like, I'm I'm so grateful that I was able to go. Like, I'm so grateful that the circumstances worked out and that I was able to book a new flight and was able to just get there. Um, and let's also, I'm going to put this out there. Um, at this point in time, Germany was a safer country than the UK to be in. Um, virus wise um, and so me going to Germany wasn't me putting myself at risk it was me actually going to a safer place um, it just just putting that out there it's not as if I was like exposing myself no um, and also the rules in Germany are a lot stricter like I went there and it was like if you're not wearing a mask you're not coming into the shop and I was like right okay mask on um, mask on mund and yeah that was amazing like it was an amazing holiday and I absolutely loved it. Um, then, we I mean we started Upper Sixth and this year so far has been a wild ride. I'll do a video about this year. Um, or, or will, I have, will I have already done this video? Not yet, I don't think. No, that's coming out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I bought a video about the first term of Upper Sixth, my last year of school. <laughs> it's been... It's been intense, uh, like really intense. I was elected deputy head boy, um, that was exciting. That's one of those things that you're just like, oh, people appreciate me enough to do that, which is really nice. Um, we've had some great meetings, talking about stuff, um, trying to organize some things potentially, that kind of thing. We don't know how much we can do this year because it is a weird year, but yeah, there may be something coming um, this year. What else happened? Well, I mean, last year kind of really just ended on a dud, um, but 
I, I mean, I got monetized in the last year, which was really exciting, and I've made a bit of money from YouTube, it's not a lot, like, if I went and got myself a job, I would be earning so much more from a job, but I'm happy, I'm happy with the money I'm getting, like, it's enough for me to keep doing this, so, um, like and subscribe, <laughs> uh, it does help, guys. But yeah, that was last year, so now as we go into 2021, <laughs> I really want to get my driving test by the end of the year, however, I can't, like, booking driving test, it's like, if you don't get it booked immediately, you don't get a test, but the problem is, I need a couple more lessons to be complete, like, I can drive perf- like, I can drive on the road, like, I go driving all the time, just like, if I need to go, if my mum needs to go do something, I'll drive her there, if my mum wanted to get my friend, my, her friend a Christmas present, I drove there, like, no problem, I just need to work on manoeuvres, and for that, I need a couple of driving lessons. The problem with getting driving lessons is, if I can't book my test, because other people are booking their test, the driving instructors are busy with the people who have just booked their test. And so, until there are spaces, I suppose, until those people get their test, then I can't get lessons. And so, I was supposed to have lessons in November, they were pushed forward to December, and they've now been pushed forward again. So, hopefully by the end of the year, I should be able to drive. <laughs> like last year, it was me saying, I hope I can, I hope I can drive. And I can drive. Just on the road by myself is the next goal. Um, we're going slowly with this one. And then, so I want to do that really as soon as possible, but it's not looking, it's not looking likely this as possible, looking more like Easter. We'll just go with it. Um, so then, let me see, January, February, I, let me see, I went to, I went to Cologne, or Cologne, last, at the end of January last year, and that was amazing. Can't go this year for obvious reasons. Um, I can't go to a place in Germany this, like, February half-term either. Um, I think February half-term has been shortened to two days. So, yeah, and I think I'll have my birthday in school for the first time ever. As far as, far as I'm aware, my birthday in school this year for the first time ever, which is kind of a meh. But I turn 18, and I'm going to be an adult. Which is, like, mind-boggling, but unlikely to have a party because you can't. Uh, might have a Zoom party because you know that's become the norm. Might have to play some Jackbox games because absolutely love it. Um, and you know what? No better way to spend my birthday than playing Jackbox games with my friends. So that might be a plan. Yeah. Um, then going on from February, March, I have mocks in March again. So hoping that they go well. Hoping that I like learn the stuff and actually do well in those. Um, I get my January mock results back soon. So or my Christmas mocks back soon, so hopefully they went well as well. Um, and then we go to A-levels. I don't know how many A-levels I'm going to have anymore. I don't know how many exams I'm going to have anymore, because everything changes constantly. I think I may be having nine exams, eight, seven. We'll see. Um, we'll see what they do about that. But, yeah, less exams is going to be different from what I was expecting. And slightly more pressureful on each of the exams individually, but hopefully then you can learn a lot more for each of them. And hopefully I'll then have more time to like level out rather than constantly working because GCSEs are worked too much. And I'm fully aware of that. So we're changing that this time. Um, then after that it's summer and if a vaccine has worked, I'm hoping to go back to Germany. <laughs> Literally, my second home, Germany, um, I'm hoping to go back and possibly visit my friend for a couple of days um, or maybe go with my family and visit my friend for a couple of days. Like, I just want to get back to Germany, it literally is my second home at this point. Um, I've been so many times. Like I've been to Ger I've been more times to Germany than I've been to different countries, which is interesting, but we love that, <laughs> we love that for me. Um, hopefully I will get to go to Germany in the summer. And then after that, it's me starting uni. If I get the grades at A level, I am hopefully going to study medicinal chemistry and I am so excited. Like, I cannot tell you how excited I am to start this course. Like, it is the course for me. Like, literally, I have been excited about it. I've been, like, kind of looking forward to it for a while. But it's only been recently that I've started to get super excited, like super like, I'm actually going to do this course. This course is like what I really want to do. And so, yeah, I'm so excited for that. I can't wait to go do that because 
oh, so exciting, and start uni life, and, you know, start uni work, start the whole different lifestyle as well of uni. Um, it may be on Zoom, it may be on, um, online for the first while, but that's okay. Um, I just can't wait to start something new as well. And yeah, but I mean, hopefully by the end of this year, YouTube-wise will be going up as well, because um, YouTube is so temperamental. Um, there was a period where I was on like, this amount of subscribers, then we go like this, ooh, ooh, oh. It's, it's weird like that, but um, thank you all for being here. And I really appreciate you all. And if you've watched this video and you've made it this far through this video, I love you guys, thank you. Um, you're amazing. But yeah, I suppose after this year that we've just had, I do not have as many hopes and dreams as I did last year. Um, it's kind of all been dulled down a bit to be like, what do I really want to focus on and what do I really want to achieve? And that is the maximum physically possible. So that is really all I have time for in this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all that good stuff. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.